Hi everyone. Um, yeah, I'm not done up. I didn't break out the fake eyelashes. I don't. I'll probably look a fright. Um, but I was actually listening to "In Through the Outdoor" by Led Zeppelin, and this is, of course, the one of the most maligned, uh, at least liked, least popular albums of Led Zeppelin's and um, you know to be f to be fair I you know it was always mine as well and the thing is like if it's Led Zeppelin now I wouldn't hate it but it was not high on the list shall we say and um, I remember you know when I, I got back into Led Zeppelin of course I was in Led Zepp from day one of my life, pretty much, um, <laughs> thanks to my mom, uh, probably even before that, probably in the womb, because, uh, she had that, um, Led Zeppelin 2 and 3 on 8-track that she listened to before I was even born, so, but, um, when, it was like, a, I guess the late 80s, early 90s, uh, I started actually, getting a lot of the Zeppelin catalog on cassette and CD, you know, uh, I guess more modern <laughs> uh, formats. And, um, I, you know, when I got in through the outdoor, it was strange. It was definitely different. It was very strange to me. And, um, I didn't get a lot of it. I did enjoy, I enjoyed it in the evening. I enjoyed Fool in the Rain. Fool in the Rain is, is still, like, a go-to for funkiness for me. Um, it makes me want to do the, the, the damn samba. You know, <laughs> like, um, uh, it, it was amazing. Um, I'm gonna crawl, just so gut-reaching and uh, of course you know the uh, famous uh, All of My Love which is dedicated to um, Robert Plant's son who unfortunately died before that a few years before that and um, but I've for some reason here recently I was listening to the to it you listen to the deluxe edition that had the um, you know, the unreleased stuff, the alternate takes and whatnot. I understand things, I think, a lot better. Of course, I don't have perfect understanding. Because I don't know what's in the hearts and minds of the people who created it and exactly what was going on. I have an idea. But, um, of course, only the, mem the band members and people close to them will know, know, for sure. But um, I, I think I understand things a little better now um, than I did previously. And um, listening to Carus Lombra was when I when I saw the actual lyrics because in the you know I had it on cassette back in the day you know back in the late eighties I had bought it and. Um, the mix is strange to me. I think it's strange to a lot of people. It's like the vocals are mixed down. Like they're not, you know, unhearable, but they're mixed down from what they were. And, or, you know, what, what was normal for their albums and such. And Robert's voice was treated as just like, I guess, another track or another instrument instead of something to really pay a whole lot of attention to. And I've read, you know, the alleged meaning behind it. And again, nobody is going to know 100%. And I'm not claiming that. Um, at all. Not by any means. But, you know, I've read some discussions on... Um, this song, and it's hard to listen to 
once you have this idea in your head. And, um, you know, the whole album is just, <sighs> it's very different. It's um, a, a, a departure from, I guess, the, the Zeppelin sound. Um, I just, I feel like I didn't give it the proper uh, attention. And it's still not my favorite, but after, you know, getting older and learning some things and hearing things and reading things and, you know, just basically just going back and, and you know, listening to it fresh. Um, it is, it's a snapshot, I think, of where the band was at, at the time, which was honestly not in a good place. Um, they were still creative, <laughs> despite all of the stuff that was going on. Um, this was a band that was still able to push an album out and it may not have been what people expected but it was immensely fresh and um, creative for lack of a better word um, Cruz Slombra is a very long song it's over 10 minutes and now Zeppelin had some long songs but this one actually goes through all these changes and you know tempo changes and you know and everything and um, I've had some people remark that it is what Zeppelin may have been um, in the 80s had it continued had Bonzo not passed away and um, you know things had, had improved somewhat from what was going on at the time. Um, I think that they would have sort of went through that direction, but both um, Bonham and Jimmy Page had stated that they intended for the next album to be much harder, to be more guitar driven. You know, and I expected it probably would have been a lot like Presence. You know, intricate, kind of you know, different, but uh, more guitar-based. Uh, and you know, with, with some, you know, John Paul John synths, but I don't think that would have driven it as much as uh, it did in Through the Outdoor. So they had things planned. Now, um, I mean, I'm not going to tell anybody what to do, but I do think that into the Outdoor does need to be listened to with open ears and open eyes. It's not an easy album. It's, it's, uh, unless it's not a pop album, it's not a blues-based album per se. There are some bluesy type songs in it, but yeah, it is very, it is strange. I mean, even for the time, it's strange. Um, even for like, say, prog rock or whatever. It's kind of strange, but honestly, it's it's a good album. It really is. It runs the gamut of Zeppelin's interests and proclivities, I guess you could say. Um, I mean, you know, Southbound Soiree was was cool. It's fun. It's a fun rock. I love. I, again, I mentioned Full Rain. I love Full Rain. I will never not love Full Rain. You know that that's that's just a, such a, a you know immensely awesome song, and you know in the evening is classic. You know dealing with, I guess the touring um, situation, and you know different different parts of being in a rock band as big as as Led Zeppelin, without seeming cocky or you know pretentious. Um, it actually nails things on the head, I think. And, um, you know, Hot Dog. I just, you know, even back in the day, I enjoyed that song. 
it's a fun little rockabilly country, you know, little song, little ditty. And uh, I, I enjoyed it too. I mean, basically, it, it, it shows what they could do, which is many different things. They weren't just one thing. And I think that's what they were trying to show with Anthony the Outdoor. Now, being the Zeppelaholic that I am, um, <laughs> Les Zeppelin's one through four, just, that's the pinnacle for me. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. But the other albums, I mean, shit. Physical Graffiti, double album. I mean, it's got cashmere on it. I mean, holy crap. That, I mean, that in itself is amazing. Ten years gone? In my time of dying? Like, in my time of dying, I mean, that was blistering. Absolutely blistering. I mean, relentless. Once it kicks in, that, I mean, it's just a constant punch to your ears. I mean, your brain is bludgeoned into, you know, liking this song. I mean, you can't not like this song. But, um... I do think there is something to be said about In Through the Outdoor. And, you know, as I was listening, um, and I, I was doing other things. Um, I mean, you know, I've, I've been trying to get my Instagram shop together. I've been experimenting with selling my art on different forms, you know, through my website, which Weebly only allows you five different variations of crap to sell and then I tried to do the Facebook um, like page which I do have that under secret ones which is based on my um, book series secret ones and you know the extended stuff you know the fantasy books that I've written which that allowed me more options but it was really not user friendly and then um, I did the whole Squarespace thing which I, I use Square for my credit card payments and you know online payments and stuff that's what I use to do invoices um, people buy stuff online or just you know contact me or whatever so I decided to use that and that you know that's kind of what I'm I think I'm going to lean towards is the Squaresoft thing, which is under Sandoz Designs um, at Weebly dot you know column. But um, I was working on that <laughs> on various things and listening to Into the Outdoor, and I don't know, it just struck me. It just struck me. So um, if anybody has anything to add to that or um, discussion about it you know or it could refute something that I've said you know because I you do I'm just a fan you know I've looked at things I've seen things you know that, that, that kind of thing and yeah I've delved kind of deeply into it but again I was not there <laughs> I don't know everything um, by, by a long shot I don't so if anybody you know has solid information that contradicts anything I've said, then, you know, by all means, you know, let me know, you know, comment, whatever. Um, yeah, again, I'm going on what I have. You know, what I know, what I have, you know, what I've seen. And, you know, the songs and stuff themselves. And, um, that, you know, during Into the Outdoor, it seems to me, again, not an expert, but it seems to me that all was not well <laughs> in the Zeppelin camp at the time. And there was a, shall we say, some resentment uh, from Robert Plant, at, you know, I suppose, against his other band members um, because of the, you know, passing away of, of his son. And I hate, you know, that's somebody's life we're talking about. You know, it's somebody's life and family and everything. But it does tie in with this album and some so some of the songs particular to the album. 
So, you know, again, if I was to ever meet, if I was to be lucky enough um, to meet, you know, either members, I would not bring that up. I mean, you know, I wouldn't want someone bring up my, somebody I didn't know bring up my husband who passed away. Just randomly. Just for a kick or whatever. I mean, you know, if it's a true, you know, curiosity, then it's one thing. But, again, I'm from the South. We don't, you know, we don't bring up stuff like that. But, um, it's just my observations. And if anybody else has anything to add, then by all means, um, do so. Uh, but again, I just want people to give In Through the Outdoor a chance. Just, you know, it's, it's, it's not, again, you know, after listening to it, uh, who recently, it's not my favorite, but it's a very interesting and creative album to be fair so you know th th there was a lot going on there was a lot of inner turmoil there's drug use alcohol abuse just all this stuff going on which i'm not going to get into but um you know this th these people were still able to put this album together and do it with such flair that I, th I think they need to be applauded for it, and I think it needs to be given a chance. So, you know, take in through the outdoor out of the bargain bins, people. Listen to it. <laughs> All right. So, um, if you, you know, I'm sorry again that I look like hell and I didn't, you know, get ready because I normally do. I get, I break out the uh, the good makeup and the fake eyelashes and the crazy hairdos and everything but I worked all day today and I'm tired I've driven like three plus hours back and forth to work took a shower you know this it just was doing some stuff on my downtime before I crash because I'm freaking tired um, but just again I, I just I, I don't know I felt the need to talk about this so again you know if there are any of you Zeppelin fans any of you people that you know are in the know you know have some actual information you know whatever then by all means you know correct me or you know engage I mean I'm good with that you know I had a dude tell me that my shit sucks you know you have arrived when you have trolls so you know, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I have hit the big leagues because I'm in like the triple digits. You know, people liking my stuff and I've got trolls. So, you know, it can't get any better because it's only, it's only uphill from here. But uh, anyways, like, subscribe, uh, you know, hit that bell. You know, I will be doing stuff. This is not my, you know, I have a day job, so I'm not, you know, this is not my my main gig, but this is something that I, I am working on, and I think, you know, it could be fun for me and for others, and maybe even a forward lift, woo! Uh, so, you know, like, subscribe, whatever, check out my stuff on Amazon, shanaoquinn.com. Shana O'Quinn author on Facebook and um, you know you should be able to find me under Sandoz Driftwood as well so I will bid you all a fond fond farewell uh, appreciate you sitting through my stuff and you know appreciate all the support that I've gotten all the you know the tips and uh, the donations and people buying stuff, you know, this is my side gig, coincidentally enough, was um, doing Comic Cons, festivals, you know, various uh, things like that, you know, vendor shows, arts and craft shows, uh, stuff like that to sell my actual physical wares. And because of the plague, 
I haven't been able to do that. So it's extra money that I could have used. I mean, I'm not going to die or anything, but, you know, every little bit helps. Just saying. So if you feel like, you know, tipping me, that there's links in uh, the, uh, co the uh, description of most of my videos. Um, most of the you know, recent re reaction videos, music videos, and whatnot. There is a, I have a virtual tip jar. It's um, through cashapp.com. You can uh, hit me up. You know, uh, you can uh, do my Patreon, which if you feel uh, you know froggy enough to uh, contribute monthly uh, to make you know having me make more of these videos, kind of thing. Uh, if you feel, you know, good enough to do that, then that's cool. If you just want to, like, share this, you know, to people, uh, I'm sure somebody would get a giggle out of some of the dumb crap that I do. So, again, I appreciate it. And I will see you guys later. Uh, farewell. Stay safe. And uh, stay plague-free. Thank you.